Hey, what's up with it, Hood News peeps? It's your girl, Grizzy. I'm live right now with Stephanie Warren from Caring Adoptions. Uh, she's been uh, able to assist families and, and parents uh, looking to adopt children or put their children up for adoption. She's with Caring Adoptions, and they've been a key part of the community since 1991. So we're going to wait for some of you guys to hop on. What's up with it, Hood News peeps? Thanks for coming by, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little bit about Caring Adoptions. Uh, what made you want to do this, like start something like this? So as an adoptive parent myself, um, I just, you know, I just know that there's so many children out there and so many girls out there that don't know the options of, of adoption and how important it is and, and how easy it is um, to actually do an adoption Yeah. And all the struggles, you know, mm -hmm. that there are. Um, so I just got into it. I have a passion for it. I love helping. Um, so, so you guys get both, like you, you get like a month, you can get either a family that's looking for a child, but you also get the mothers. Yeah. yeah. So, so both yeah. aspects of, yeah. of an adoption. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, we've been hearing a lot lately on the news of, of people that are desperate. You know, we, we see, you guys know, we've been posting about babies being found in the grass or by behind dumpsters. That's been a recent one. And, and you guys are, what, what kind of services do you offer to somebody that's, in a desperate situation. Yeah, so any any mother that is in a situation and find themselves in a struggling position can reach out at any time, at any any course of the pregnancy, whether it's early or, or late or already had a baby, we're here to help um, right away and you don't have to feel that those struggles. You know, we can, mm -hmm. we can assist with you financially, put you in a good place, put you safe, um, make the baby, you know, help the baby and, and find a great family. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are the services that you guys offer to a mother or to uh, parents, like people looking to, to have a baby? So families looking to have a baby will come to us um, and sign up with the agency. Obviously, they've gone through their own struggles of, um, you know, uh, for infertility issues. And um, and they just want a family, you know. And, and that's where it's so great that these that these mothers who who know that it's the most selfless thing to, to give a child a life, um, allow, it, allow families to have that, that dream come true. Okay. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. What are specific services that you provide to women, you know, that are considering giving up their child for adoption? Um, we can assist with financial help, um, pregnancy related expenses, rent, food, utilities, anything that, um, transportation counseling. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the easiest person to, to get along with and I'm with you the whole step of the way. So, yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a story, you know, cause, uh, from what I, well, we'll talk about this. From my understanding, you guys take on about 30 cases versus some of the adoption agencies that deal with so many more. Some adoption agencies deal with 100 or more. You guys are more personalized. You take a more personalized approach and you have up to about 30. Right. How does that affect you know the, 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 the process for families or for the mothers? Well, it's cool for me because I've been here for long enough to now where I'm seeing the first kids that I place for adoption are graduating high school. What? It's crazy. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So it's just, man, it's, it's, it's really rewarding. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen them probably go off to college uh -huh. already too. Yeah. 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 And you still stay in touch with a lot of the uh -huh. families, yeah. even both, both sides. Yeah. Birth moms okay. still call me. I, wow. You know, I love them. Can you tell us like what kind of adoptions that you guys have available? You know, like, cause some people, some people don't like they want to close that chapter behind them right. others they want to see if somebody in their family can adopt and others are like oh, i would like communication with the child with the parents what kind of adoptions do you guys offer so i see now more going to open adoption because that is where the birth mom and the family have the most communication and i see it being very good for the adoptive kids because they get to see their birth mom, they get to have a relationship. It's like just an extension of their family. Like right. it's just really cool. Um, and that's where they have contact. They can go out to eat. They do whatever. They do whatever they want. Okay. They, you know, they go to the softball games, the basketball games with the kid, whatever. Um, Semi-open is more like just pictures, letters. I want updates. I don't really want to see the kid, uh -huh. you know, face to face. And then designated, of course, is where, you know, you have a, a friend that has a church member that's pregnant that wants to place her baby for adoption and she doesn't know what to do and so they're looking to adopt and so we just kind of it's a designated they they pick that family on their own okay and then close of course is where it's just like you said i'm ready to close that chapter i don't want anything further mm. 
Okay, okay. And so, um, can you tell us a story, like a like a recent story, like how, like the because of the personalized approach, like how successful it can be for for a family? Can you share a story? Yeah. So, um, actually, I just did a um, adoption the other day, and um, it was about four months ago, and the it was the family had um, a, de a, a failed adoption where the birth mom changed her mind, mm -hmm. and um, and they were very angry, and I don't blame them. It's it's just one of those things that they want to blame me. And um, and get mad and, and I get it, you know, they're they're grieving and so they came and they were like, you know, I said, look, I said that just wasn't your baby and I promise, you know, it it'll happen for you. Yeah. And uh, just a week later, I got a drop in from a from a hospital. They called me and said, hey, we have this girl who wants to place her baby for adoption. Wow. They called me. I went up there, and uh, the birth mom said, you know what? I don't really want to pick the family. You you pick the family. And so my first immediate reaction was is to pick the family that just had that disruption because that's kind of how we work. If you have a disruption, you're gonna to be top of the list. Um, so I called the family and I said, hey, I have your baby. And they were like, what? You know? Wow. And, um, and so after meeting with the family, um, you know, we, we did the whole paperwork and they told me the name that they named the baby and everything. And so I went to meet the birth mom to sign the paperwork and, um, and we, we were having lunch and she said, do you mind if I ask you what they named the baby? And I said, of course not. And so I told them and she said, Oh my God, that's my grandfather's middle name, and he just passed away. And I just had a dream about him. Ooh. And like, it was just really a really cool connection. Yes. And those are the kind of connections that just make you know that this is it's, yeah. it's a higher thing working. Right, right. But you know, and, and that's the thing people people don't realize that adoption is not an easy thing. You don't just say, "Hey, I'm looking to adopt a baby." Like right. it's it's a whole process. And you guys are there, even if something fails, there's always some other way. Like there, there will be a moment where they finally get their baby. You know, yes. it's not something to give up on. But you guys know how this is. You guys work with hospitals too. Like they mm -hmm. let you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, we, I just our main thing is, is we just want girls to know that there are options out there for them. Yes, you know? yes. And this world and our economy and it's getting harder and harder. And I mean, you know, daycare mm -hmm. and all the things that we have to pay for, you know, and exactly. there are options out there if you just are in, you find yourself in hard times. Right, right. Um, so I know that the matching process is uh, ensuring a good match between the birth mothers and adoptive families is crucial. What kind of criteria do you guys use to facilitate the, the matches? So birth moms can, um, once they come to me and they say, you know, I'm looking for a family that has, you know, no kids or whatever, you know, they kind of, I ask them kind of, what is your criteria that you're looking for in a family, you know, religion versus whatever, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, they could, they you could, guys get into those conversations. Yes. Yes. Like yeah. if they want someone that's religious, they want something that's not religious. Like that's totally up to them. And so I try to find the best family to meet with their, exactly what they're looking for. Okay. And so then they say, you know, um, my family will say, yes, yeah, show my profile. I take her these books. She looks at the books and she picks a family out of those books um, based on, you know, what she reads and what she sees. And usually it's just like a solid connection right there. She's just mm -hmm. sees something. Yes. Um, let me see. And let me ask this. So you guys don't discriminate when it comes to the, the family, the layout of the families, it, because you guys deal with all kinds of people, right? All yeah. kinds of families, races, yes. beliefs, yes. religions, yes. No all judgment. of that. No, no judgment. judgment. No judgment. No judgment. All right. And then uh, let me see. Are there any other questions I'm, I'm reading? Okay. Let me, let me ask about this, because once the adoption is over... It's not just that you guys walk away and you no, know, like there's support afterwards for the yeah, families, yeah. for the mother too, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, we help mothers after the pregnancy for six weeks for a natural birth and eight weeks for a, um, a C-section. But that doesn't mean, I mean, that's just the financial support. But as far as like the counseling and the communication and the ongoing relationship, it will keep on going forever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as long as I'm alive. <laughs> oh, that's <I'll> awesome. <laughs> And how do oh, somebody just asked, how do we contact them? Let me let me copy and paste that real quick. I got it for you, friend. Hold on. Boom. Okay. Boom. Right there. Yeah. All and right. my cell phone, 832-526-4333. I'm available all hours if you need help. Yeah. And let me ask this. Um, how does caring uh, adoptions engage with the local community to, pro to promote awareness and support adoption? Um, we're, we're big in the act, you know, in the community. We try to get involved in as many activities as we can, um, and we go to you know pregnancy crisis centers and um, different establishments and just wherever we can um, promote our, our business. Um, we're all we're everywhere that we can that we can be to help families mm. and, and birth mothers. 
okay. hospitals, right, right, jails. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Stephanie, for joining us today. I, I see some of the peeps. I'm trying to look to see if there's any other questions in here. How do we help? Somebody says, how do we help with babies that have been surrendered at a safe place baby box? I don't think that's happened yet. We've seen them like they leave them on the street. I don't think they've been placed in a baby box yet. We haven't seen that. I know. And that's where I'm coming in and saying, you don't have to do that. You can call caring adoptions instead of having to place your baby somewhere on the side of the road or at a, at a fire station, not knowing where that baby's going to go. At least with an adoption, you have that relationship ongoing, knowing that you're going to be able to see that baby forever, you know, and yeah. or, or as long as you want and, and kind of have that relationship Yeah. versus, you know, CPS getting involved and taking your baby, you know, just things like that. Just wow. Really bother me. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys deal with all kinds of situations where the moms are desperate or, or they're in abusive relationships, or they've already got four kids, right. and they they were not planning for another one. Right. So, or even if if your baby's eight months old, I mean, and you just you're finding yourself in a struggle. I mean, we have families that are open to taking children of you know different, uh, different ages. ages. Oh, okay. So they do uh, not just babies, but they also like different ages. Uh, what's the oldest child that you guys have placed in adoption? The oldest child I have placed is about five. Okay. Okay. So they're, they're, they're not closed there no, to yeah, babies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So if this conversation has inspired our peeps and you're considering adoption, uh, you know, we urge you guys to reach out. You can make a profound impact on a child's life. We keep saying this. There's too many babies out there with, with not enough love, not enough attention, not enough, you know, nurturing friends. There, there are people right now that would love to have your baby. We say this. I only have one man. And we, we hear these stories where somebody left the baby behind or hurt the baby and, and it doesn't even need to go that route. You know, you guys can count on carrying adoptions. They've been uh, servicing the community since 1991. There are people that will love your child. They will treat the baby like like their own. I mean, because they're looking for that. They're looking to adopt. They're looking for expansion of their family. They're ready to share the holidays, the Christmases, the love, the first day of school, all those things that a child needs. They, they need that, man. We have too many kids out there with not enough love because the parents take on something that they weren't ready for. And, and what she's got to offer you guys is a great gift. It's a gift of love for your child. And when you love a child, you will do whatever it takes. And sometimes that's, you know, giving your child to somebody that can really provide better than you can. Sometimes we got to make those sacrifices. We find ourselves sometimes having to make some ultimate sacrifices because we want better for our children. So if you're considering adoption or, you know, putting your child for adoption and you find yourself desperate in that kind of situation, uh, reach out to carrying adoptions. What's the number they can call you at? 832-526-4333. Okay, or one eight three three six zero three seven one six nine, or you can go to www.caringadoptions.org, and you can learn more and get started. All right, friends, thank you so much for sponsoring and, the good news. We and, appreciate yes, you, friends. I just want to say all this is private. No one will, you know. Mm -hmm. We keep everything private for you know your. It's just you and purpose. them. Yes, yeah, yes. you and them. Yes. It's just her and yourself. And, and if you're undecisive, you just want to talk to somebody, definitely reach out to her because you never know. Like, yep. this might be for you or it might not, but she's going to listen to you. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. thank you, friends. All right. More hood news on the way, friends. Be on the lookout. I'll see y'all soon.